Alright, this is number three from 2005 Form B, Calc B, C exam, and it is a series question, so let's see what we can do. So we're given this weird thing for the nth derivative. We're also uh, told a couple things. So we're told that it has a, uh, the function has a horizontal tangent line at zero, um, and that means that um, f prime of zero is zero. And we're trying to show that this thing has a local max, min, or uh, neither at x equals zero. So let's see. So far we have that um, f prime of zero is zero. Uh, we can use that weird thing to find uh, f double prime of zero. So what we're doing is every n is being replaced with two in that formula. Um, so we end up with, uh, since it's negative one to the third, that thing is less than zero. Um, and then uh, we can say by the second derivative test, we know for fact that uh, f has a local maximum. That's because it's concave down and has a horizontal tangent line, in case you don't remember. But I would definitely recommend that you know the second derivative test. It comes up a lot with series questions um, because you can figure out the first derivative and the second derivative um, from the series or from the things that you're given. Um, for part b, what we need to do is write a third degree Taylor polynomial, and you have to know the general form uh, walking in the door. So there's your general form. Uh, in this case, a is going to be 0, so uh, that x minus a to the n is just going to be x to the n, which is nice. So I'm going to write out, um, in general, what's going to happen. I pretty much always do this, um, just to help organize my thoughts. makes it a little easier to plug things in later. So this is what I'm looking for, and I'm going to just substitute in. So I need to know all these values. So I know f of 0 is 6 because it was given. I know f prime of 0 is 0 because we figured that out f double prime of 0, um, we also figured out. And then f triple prime of 0, I'm just going to plug 3 into that formula now. Um, so negative 1 to the 4th, you know, simplifies down to just 1, which is why that disappeared. And now I'm substituting in. And that's my polynomial. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of stuff would simplify through there, but I'm not going to do it because... You're not required to do it, and you might screw something up along the way, so uh, go with what you got. Alright, in part C, we're looking for the radius of convergence. Um, and to do that, we're going to use a ratio test. So we need the nth term of our series. So the nth term looks like this, and we can keep going. So just replacing that nth derivative at zero part there. Um, and what happened was the uh, n factorial and the n plus 1 factorial canceled down to just n plus 1 in the numerator. Um, now we need the limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus first term over the nth term, which, uh, you know, after a lot of writing becomes this. Uh, I usually write it as the n plus first term times the reciprocal of the nth term, um, because then you can immediately see what's going to cancel or you can kind of immediately see what's going to cancel. It's a lot of stuff to cancel in this case. All right, um, and I've gone ahead and just canceled everything that I can without taking the limit. Uh, I let the absolute values just eliminate the negative one to the end. Um, so we're there at that point, and um, now I'm going to take this limit. So really the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are the same. Uh, they have the, high, the same highest power of n. Um, so all that we're going to be left with is really the absolute value of x over 5. And the ratio test tells us that this thing will converge uh, whenever that ratio is less than 1. And if that ratio is less than 1, it implies that the absolute value of x is less than 5. And that means that the radius of convergence is 5. Uh, so that's the whole question. It's really not a bad series question. Uh, a little bit of algebra in part C, I guess. Um, but... You know, people in BC usually enjoy doing that type of algebra. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck.